kids, how are you? Um, this is Scout, and this is my other girl, Dana. And I thought, while well, you guys are at home, and I know some of you have pets at home, especially dogs, I thought today I'd just go over some basic pet care that I do with my pets, and you can do that at home, because they need lots of love and care. And just make sure that you're paying attention to your pets real good during this time. And yeah. Okay, kids, you want to make sure that you get in your dogs plenty of exercise. And hopefully you have an area around your house so you can take them walking at least once a day and get them out and about. If not, hopefully you might have a great backyard and you can play with them out in the backyard. Hi kids, um, this is Scout. I don't think I've introduced her to you guys yet. She is a mix of who knows what, we don't know. She is nine years old and she's been through quite a lot. She's had three surgeries on her legs, but she's been real good ever since. I call her my big protector. And today we're gonna talk about brushing your dog. So she's shedding right now because of the change in season, so I gotta brush her a lot. So, and she doesn't mind it too much, and you just wanna make sure um, you get all her loose hairs off and, um, you know, just brush all her spots that she's definitely got the most shedding going on at. And I do it outside so I don't get hair all over my house because it's already all over there anyways. But, take your time and make sure you brush your dog real good and it makes their coat super soft and it's good for their skin as well and you got less hair all over your, your house so okay hi guys I'm here with Dana and Dana um, she is gonna get a bath and a haircut today um, it's important to bathe your animals especially when they roll around in the dirt and the grass like this one Typically you can do it about every three months, which is what I usually do for Scout. But Miss Dana here has some allergy issues and she likes to roll around in the dirt. And also her hair grows real long and I groom her myself. So, um... I can tell. Nice. Um, so I have special shampoo for her, for her allergies and a cup. And I'll get her all cleaned up and... Um, don't cut your dog's hair at home, um, but I did some training and learned how to do it myself. So, um, so this is her before shot, and then we'll do an after shot when we're done. Okay, you want to make sure your water is lukewarm before you put your puppy in there, not too cold, not too hot. Um, and then I just use a cup and kind of get her all wet. Making sure to avoid the ears completely. And I usually use a washcloth actually to do her face. And so I can get around her eyes. <clears throat> her eyes real good. And over the top of her ears and her beard and her muzzle. And behind her ears. Pretty much like that. And then Dana gets her special shampoo for her allergies. And you just soap them up and rinse. Dana's pretty dry right now, and I'm going to start cutting her hair. Do not cut your dog's own hair, first of all. Second of all, Dana is the type of dog that has to have her hair cut because it gets so long. So she didn't like the groomer at all, so I trained myself to do it. Um, so I usually do her face first and then the rest of her body. And I got this, these clippers. They are the best clippers. They barely make any noise. And she likes them so much better than our old clippers. So the less noise, the better it is. Okay, here's Dana's after shot. She got a little, she got a bath and a little bit of a trim. Uh, just to trim it up a bit. She's looking for a cookie treat now that we're done. But this is Miss Dana's after shot. Okay, um, so I have to brush Dana's teeth. Uh, she's got a small little mouth, 
and her teeth aren't as clean as they should be. Um, Scout, um, my bigger girl, her teeth are perfect. So, but with Dana, I use a special enzyme uh, toothpaste and her doggy toothbrush. And I just try to do this. Hey, that's my toothbrush. <laughs> This is, no, it's not Stannis. So I try to get make sure her teeth get really clean. Um, I do this a couple times a week. Not all the time, but a couple times a week. And yeah, so I just make sure to get the front ones and the back ones. And the cool thing about this toothpaste is she loves the taste of it. So she pretty much tries to eat it all, but it works by staying on their teeth and cleaning them and you don't have to do too much work. <laughs> she basically loves eating it, so. Okay guys, well thank you for joining us, Scout, Dana, and myself, and watching our video on pet care. Um, just want to say, be kind, be helpful, and stay safe.